Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. We'll have every kick of the ball for you live on EA TV. Hello, great to have you with us. We're really getting down to the tension-packed part of this World Cup. We're at the quarter-final stage. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me here on the commentary position is Stuart Robson. And no shortage of excitement here. We're thoroughly looking forward to this one. It's England up against Portugal. Well, this has the makings of a very good game. Two sides full of quality, a great atmosphere, and everything to play for. A last four places up for grabs here. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford stands between the posts. Luke Shaw starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Jude Bellingham starts alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Harry Kane. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And it's an interesting looking attacking constellation with three forwards listed from the start. And the contest begins. Possession lost by England. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? And Bernardo Silva has it. And the keeper did more than enough. <laughs> Let's see about the delivery. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. A really sumptuous ball. And the keeper there to deal with it. Well, so close to seeing an early goal here. It's a great save, you have to say. Well, on the back of that breathtaking piece of goalkeeping, can they keep the ball and create? Gallo. On to Bruno Fernandes. Ronaldo Silva, it might be the moment to get them ahead. He's blocked it. <laughs> well, opting for the short corner. He got in the way of that cross. And the defender got the last touch. That'll be a corner. Favouring the short one. <laughs> Terrific block. Real 
chance. Defensive excellence there. And well, they're going for the short one. Oh, they've lost it. Harry Kane. Joao Felix. Well, just watch this again. It's a really good goal, but it's no surprise, is it? They've been in complete control here. And England get us moving again. A quick response required after the setback. Harry Kane. Walker now. And that pass could be troublesome. Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long. And this match is level again. Well, here's the replay. What a pass this is from Saka. And Kane's strike is absolutely perfect. Pace, power and accuracy. What a player he is. A level contest, 1-1. Joao Felix. A tremendous vision. Chance to play it in. Are well, they going to forge ahead? Oh, it wasn't far away, but above the crossbar. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And Bernardo Silva has it. Timely intervention. Kane. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Well, there you have it. They haven't been good enough going forward. They've created very little so far. They need to play with much more urgency. And he has options available. Bruno Fernandes. Ronaldo Silva. Can they forge ahead? Still could put it away. Can they stop it going in? Well, the goalkeeper got there in the end. Well, his recovery is brilliant here. So athletic. Well, time just challenged magnificently. Speculative effort here. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. Jude Bellingham into the final 20 minutes now they're going to alter things here's the substitution Kane Foden just the challenge that was required Cristiano Ronaldo 
This might have potential. And the cross smuggled away. Harry Kane. Well, they still have designs on the win. Must take the lead here. Throw in here for England. Well, they have elected to go to the bench. at this stage of the game and Bellingham on to Shaw terrific block Diogo Dallo and he saw the situation developing wonderfully weighted pass the end product just wasn't there On the offensive, is there to be late excitement? Well, that's it for the 90 minutes, but this is not over, and two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. Well, the ball rolling again, no end to the action. It's the first period of extra time, and I must say, this has been a back-and-forth type of game. Jude Bellingham. And he read it well. Kane. Henderson has it. Walker. Excellent defending. Bruno Fernandes. Here's Ronaldo. One couldn't quite find his teammate. Ronaldo threading it through. And a goal! Well, it looks easy when you can put them away like that. Well, as you can see, the first save is a good one, but they can't react quickly enough to the second ball. The keeper's a bit unlucky, really. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. First period of extra time completed. 15 minutes left, and then it's a penalty shootout. And the match is on. Well, who is going to come out on top? Let's see if we find out in the second period of extra time. Oh, that's a well-timed pass. And a goal! Real excitement here, the equaliser! Well, as we can see here, the pass from Grealish is absolutely perfect. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. Goal! 
Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Showing a real will to win the ball. Level pegging, but can they change that? Must be! And a goal! Another one! Two in quick succession! No wonder they're celebrating! Well, here it is again. Sterling's cross really does invite somebody to attack it, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal! A dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Jordan Henderson. And we will have just one additional minute. There goes the whistle, and a semi-final is guaranteed for England. Well, I'm not normally a fan of extra time, but that was enjoyable today because the players show great desire and fitness levels to go and win the game rather than just avoid defeat. And I would have to say they were just about the better team in the end.